Hello again guys, this is Vivz here. In this video, we are going to take a look at how to display multiple items inside our app Bucket Drops with the help of something called a Recycler View. The complete course is available if you type Slidener Udemy on Google. Open the first link and you will find all my courses right here. Before you run away, let me show you a neat little trick that you can use to get a nice coupon on this course. Click the first course over here and notice this option that says redeem a coupon. In addition to the discount that Udemy already gives you, you can just select this, enter the word slide nerd over here and click apply for the coupon code. And once you do that, notice that the price immediately falls off. All you have to do is click take this course, login, complete the payment gateway and you're good to watch the complete series which is one of the best series right now on Udemy. So the first step is what it looks like. So this is a recycler view. Now it has different arrangement of items. So this one is a vertical list of items. This one is a fixed grid of items. This one would be a staggered grid where each grid item has a different size as you notice and all three of them can be displayed under the recycler view. When I was a beginner, I had the question that, hey, what's the difference between putting the items inside a linear layout, which is vertical, versus displaying them in a similar way in the recycler view. If you have a thousand objects to display, let's say thousand contacts in your simple phone app, then the linear layout is going to create a thousand text view objects and they are going to exist at the same time. A recycler view will however create a limited number of objects, let's say 30 of them. And as you start scrolling down, what happens is that the items at the top keep going out of the screen, right? So those items are not destroyed. Rather, they are put back into the bottom with new data. And this process is called recycling. And the recycler view takes care of doing this, which means you don't need a thousand objects to display a thousand contact names on your phone app. You may need at most say 40 or 50 objects. Now, in this case, at a time, the user can see seven items on the screen. If you count up here, this white area is our screen, right? So the items that are not seen are recycled by removing the data out from them, but keeping the object intact. So this is the difference between a linear layout and a recycler view. So let's understand how the bucket drops app recycler view is going to look. So this complete list of items, including this area at the bottom that says added drop becomes the recycler view in our case. Now each item over here is a view object in the world of the recycler view. And each view object in turn is a composition of image view for displaying this green icon, text view that says run a marathon, another text view that says three years. So this is how you can break down each item. And remember that the first item starts at position zero in the recycler view and the last item ends at a position which is number of items minus one. In short, if there are four items to display, then the position goes from zero, one, two, three. So that is n minus one at the end. And this item at the bottom that says add a drop is a special type of item called a footer. And we'll be talking about this on how to construct this later. The idea basically here is that the recycler view can not just display one type of items, it can display different types of items. You can add a header at the top or a footer at the bottom or you can even add a different type of items in between. So let's take a look at how the recycler view is gonna work. If you see the definition of a recycler view, it goes something like this. Now limited window because the user screen space can display only a few items at a time. Large data set because you can have thousands of items out of which a few items will be seen by the user at a given time. So the two most important parts would be a layout manager and an adapter with a view holder. Now layout manager is responsible for making these items themselves. In other words, what is their width? What is their height? How much space they occupy? How they go below each other? Can you scroll them horizontally, vertically? All these things are controlled by the layout manager. Whereas the adapter is going to take the item and it is going to put data on top of the item so that you can see it on the screen. So like we discussed earlier, if you have a thousand items to display, then thousand new objects are not going to be created. Rather, let's say you scroll up. 
then the items at the bottom will keep going out of the screen continuously and these items will be taken they will be put back at the top but without the data which they previously had in other words the old data is removed and the adapter puts new data on top of the existing view objects now this process is called recycling which is exactly why this view is called a recycler view the adapter and the layout manager work independently of each other in our case in bucket drops the data is there in the realm database the adapter will simply control what item to display at which position the layout manager will control when to recycle the view and how the views are drawn now there are three basic types of layout managers that android already provides for example the one we use in bucket drops is a linear layout manager now it can be vertical which means the items are put one below each other or it can be horizontal as you see here another type of layout manager would be the grid layout manager which again comes in two different flavors as you notice here the third one is a staggered grid layout manager the difference between the grid and this one is in the fact that the previous one had all the grid items of fixed size whereas here each item may have a different size depending on what you require the recycler view was added in lollipop to make it work on devices older than lollipop you need a support library so your first step would be to add the support library to gradle build file now the next step is to add the recycler view in xml just like you add any other view then you make the layout manager either in xml or code now it's very important to specify the layout manager otherwise your app is going to crash because the recycler view simply doesn't know how to put items whether they should be stacked one below each other or near each other the next step would be to initialize the recycler view using the find view by id method inside the activity or fragment then you would create a layout file that defines how a single item looks inside the recycler view in our bucket drops earlier in this slide i showed you a breakdown of how each item looks inside the recycler view and we need to create a layout that contains the image view and those two text views which we discussed over there next step is to create the adapter that describes how to display the data for each item now there are several steps inside the adapter that you'll be performing First of all, you'll specify where the data comes from. So this can be the database or XML or JSON or ArrayList. In our case, it is the Realm database. Then you specify the number of items that you have, which again, we will come to know once we query the number of items in our Realm database. Then you use the onCreateView holder, which is a method where you can link the layout file of a single item with the adapter to tell it how to display each item inside the recycler view then you use the method called on bind view holder where you will actually display the data inside each position then you simply tell the recycler view to use this adapter so in the next video we are gonna go to our app in android studio and add the recycler view in the meantime thanks for watching i'll catch you guys in the next video have a nice day